Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, this is the Horton Geo 229, uh, 170 second scale from Revel. Um, I probably mentioned before, I'm not a great fan of jets normally, they don't really do a lot for me. Um, but there are some that I find interesting. Uh, I think some of you will know I've got a bit of a thing for the uh, de Havilland Vampire. And this is one of the others, the, the Horton Go. <laughs> I know it's not a Horton Go, but that's what I call it. Um, World War II design, flying wing. An interesting bit of kit. Apparently the first ones that were built, they couldn't get the engines to work. So they actually flew as gliders. Uh, it was originally designed, or originally built, I think in 1942. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a, a, a quite an interesting design. Uh, the box is uh, copyright 2006, I think. So it's not the newest kit I've got, but it's uh, certainly not the oldest either. Uh, I think it should be an interesting thing to see what kind of detail it's got and um, see what we can do with it. So we're going to have a go at this. So let's get on with it. Okay, let's have a look. Um, well, at first glance, it doesn't actually look that bad. Uh, it looks quite detailed. Um, I mean, the, the box is quite proud of the fact that it has rivet uh, panel lines, but it's also got quite a lot of, um, I don't know where you can see those, but it's got quite a lot of rivet detail as well, which is quite interesting. Um, one of the things that's... I, I've just had a quick look at the plans. There's quite a lot of internal detail, which is interesting because you're not going to see it. I mean, for example, it's got uh, the guns here and the ammo boxes. Uh, it's got the bracing for the wing mounts, things like that. And it's like, well, you can't see those from the outside. But I suppose in theory it means you could, if you were so inclined, um, remove like some of these inspection panels and actually see inside it. I'm not going to, but you know, you could if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it seems fairly detailed, fairly well moulded. I don't see much in the way of uh, flashing or anything like that. Um, the canopy's nice as well. The canopy's moulded in two pieces. So, uh, you know, in theory you could have the canopy open. I mean, again, it's going to be a bit of a bugger to mask because of the shape of it, but that just goes with the job, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the plans. Uh, the plans are all black and white. Um, you see, again, copyright 2006. Uh, the more, the later Revel kits have uh, coloured plans. These are all black and white, but... They seem fairly fairly clear. See again here you can see like assembling the guns and the internal framework and everything. And I'm not sure how much of that you're actually going to be able to see when the plane is built. But it's nice that they do it, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. It just seems a bit odd. Still, I think uh, this should be an interesting little build. So, all right, let's get on with it.
And here is the finished article. Um, kind of mixed feelings about this one. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to building this, and it's I enjoyed it, but it's it's been let down. I think in certain places, uh, the quality of the kit itself is not fantastic. The decals are moderately awful. Um, the plans leave quite a lot to be desired, quite frankly. Um, I think the later Revel kits are much better than the earlier ones, and I think this is borne out by this. Uh, but on the whole, it was a fun build. Uh, I'm glad I did it. Uh, I think if I was to build another one, I'd probably get have a lot more success with it. But uh, yeah, on the whole, I, I quite enjoyed this one. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.